guys, we give you the looking glasses. I want to say welcome to my channel and welcome to my haul from our recent trip to Florida. So this is meant to be a Universal and Disney haul, but I'm sure you guys saw on my stories on Instagram that we didn't quite make it to Disney World due to the coronavirus. So it is just a Universal Studios haul and then we got a couple of bits and bobs from the Disney store at Orlando Airport. Um, one of the things I bought is this Universal Studios spirit jersey, which I'm wearing now and then everything else you will see following shortly on the rest of the video so if you've got any questions on anything that i bought please don't hesitate to um drop a comment below and i'll get back to you if you have any questions um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy so i'm gonna start off by going through all of the universal branded products that we picked up during the trip so starting with the coin collection wallet so this was $8 from the Universal store in City Walk. Ben started to collect the pressed pennies on our first trip last year to Universal and Walt Disney World. We picked up the Disney wallet but not the Universal one last time. So I secretly got this for him and then gave it to him when we got back. So that was a nice little gift for him to refill with his um, pressed pennies. I also bought the Universal photo album which was $20. Again, it was from the same store in City Walk. I get a photo album from every trip because I'm quite old fashioned. I like to have my photos printed up and in an album and this one holds 200 6x4 photos. So it'll be nice to go through the photos on our phones, pick out our favourites or at least the funniest and then get those printed into an album to look through in the future. I don't actually have any Universal albums. All of our previous ones are from Walt Disney World or Disneyland so that'll be quite nice to have something to keep there. And the final thing that I got in the same design is the universal um, reusable cup this was $16 and then $9.95 per day for unlimited refills before we went on Hulk on the first day um, I needed to take some paracetamol to bought a bottle of Fanta which was $5 which for a bottle of pop is extortionate so when we saw that the unlimited refills were $9.99 it was a no-brainer and just sharing it between us. It is a 10 minute wait between refills, but because the cup is so big, for me and Ben, there was more than enough for us to share each time. We also bought a Universal Travel Mug, which was $23 from City Walk. This is a gift for Ben's stepdad, who very kindly took us to the airport and picked us up. He's quite difficult to buy for, because he is the type of person that has everything. And as far as I'm aware, he doesn't have a travel mug, so that's a nice little something for him to bring back. We also got some Universal chocolate bars. So we bought six bars. They were three for ten dollars. Uh, four of them are gifts for Ben's family, and two of them are one for each of us. So we bought the Jaws bar, which is chocolate and caramel sea salt. The ET bar is peanut butter with peanut candy pieces. Back to the Future is chocolate malted milkshake and Grinch is the mint cookie bar with cookie pieces. Ben chose the Avengers bar for himself which is chocolate and popping candy and I picked the Despicable Me one as it seemed to have all the sugar as it's cotton candy with jelly beans. Moving on to the other gifts we picked up, we picked up a Back to the Future number plate for the DeLorean which was $13.00. We first saw this in the shop at the exit of Islands of Adventure by the turnstiles but we picked it up in the film vault in Universal Studios. This was $13, so a bargain. We only picked up one, um, which is a gift for Ben's brother. We am um, denied about getting one for ourselves but thought we'll save that until next trip, give us something to look forward to. We picked up a Betty Boop mug from the Betty Boop store in Universal Studios. We first saw it in Islands of Adventure. More than sure, I thought we'd have a look around and then picked it up in the other store. When I was buying it, the lady in the shop went to wrap it. Then Betty Boot came into the store herself, so she wrapped it for me. So that's a nice little story to tell and makes it a little bit of an extra special gift for Ben's mum as she loves Betty Boop. And the final gift we picked up was a Jurassic Park keyring for our friend Erica from Jurassic Outfitters. We always call Eric Erica Eric. Um, I don't know why Ben started doing this, but it stuck. The keyring was $10, and I kid you not, they did not have one that said Erica on it. So the fact that they had Eric with a C and Eric with a K, but they didn't have Erica, we thought it was too good a gift not to get her, as she is a dinosaur lover. So that was all the gifts that we picked up, and the rest of the things that we bought were just for us. 
Some of the little things we picked up on the trip. Uh, ben purchased a Spider-Man bobblehead which was $6.95 from the main Marvel store in Superhero Island. We do like bobbleheads and collectibles. This one already has pride of place next to our Hulk Hogan bobblehead which was my granddad's before he passed away. So Hulk now has a mate with Spidey and that's got pride of place in our living room. Ben picked up a Halloween Horror Nights glass which was in the sale for $5. We grabbed this in the Monster Store. We didn't actually get to go to Halloween Horror Nights last year but this is just a nice little gift um, just for ourselves. Ben always has to use my Disney glasses so it'll be nice for him to have a horror one to use instead of using Mickey Mouse all the time. In the Simpsons land when we were in Springfield, USA, we went into the Quickie Mart and we were having a look at the Simpsons key rings and we jokingly said I wonder if they have bought, which they did. So for a $10 gift, um, the bought key ring, we had to get it just for the laughs. We are huge Simpsons fans so this is going to go on Ben's house keys. I picked up some Hello Kitty coasters which were $5.95 each from the Hello Kitty store. These were based on classic films. They did posters which were $15 each and I wanted the whole set and I couldn't justify $15 per print and then the frames. So I bought the coasters and they are ceramic so I'm going to frame them and buy one of the deep frames from Ikea so that we can still have them on the wall as artwork rather than using them as coasters. So the four designs are E.T., Jurassic Park, Jaws and Back to the Future. My favourite one is Jaws, I just love the Hello Kitty bow on the little shark, I think it's adorable and Ben's favourite one was the E.T. design. And the final little thing that we picked up was the Monsters Lanyard from the Islands Trading Store at the entrance to Islands of Adventure which was $12. In Universal, I say you have to have a lanyard. When you put your bags in the lockers and you've got to keep your tickets on you, I'm always terrified I'm going to lose them out of pocket. So I think that a lanyard is essential. It was $12 and we went for the Monsters design. We love the classic Universal Monster films, so for us, that was the one we had to pick. Um, but there are so many different designs, um, it was hard to pick, but every time I think we'll get a new one. So we picked up a couple of Christmas decorations as well during our trip. We always have to get Christmas decorations no matter where we go because we do like our Christmas tree to have all individual decorations on and um, decorations that mean something to us and just makes our tree a little bit different to the standard um, coloured baubles. So the first decoration we picked it up was the Love is Universal Pride decoration. This was $12 from the Universal store in City Walk. It's got a star on it that says Love is Universal with the rainbow motif which is lovely. We also picked up the Homer Simpson decoration from the Quickie Mart which is $19. This has Homer in a Santa suit and says Universal Studios on the bottom. This was Ben's choice. Last year we picked up a Universal Globe so just try to mix it up a little bit every time. The third decoration we bought was a Christmas present for Ben's mum. It was a Betty Boop decoration which we purchased from the Christmas shop in um, Islands of Adventure which is the best smelling shop in the world. So we picked up a Betty Boop one for $16.95. It's Betty Boop sat in a Christmas stocking. Last year we bought the Betty Boop wreath one for Ben's mum and she loved it so this time we thought we'd get a different one. Moving on to clothes now, we did pick up a few items of clothing. If you know me, you know I love to shop for clothes so you're not surprised at all. The first thing I picked up was the rose gold tank top um, that has, it's a baby pink tank top with um, a rose gold motif saying Universal Studios and a few gems on it. This was $33 from the Betty Boot store. I picked up an extra large just to give you guys um, some kind of guidance for size. I did try it on in the shop over my top and the fit is really good. So I bought a Spider-Man t-shirt for $35 from the Spider-Man store. Again, I bought an extra large just so that it was a nicer fit on me. It was a really heavy jersey material with a gold foil Spider-Man design on it. I can see me wearing this top all the time for work or just at home around the house. Um, I wasn't going to buy it, I saw it and really liked it and then I thought, do I need a Spider-Man top in my life? Probably not, but I was looking at the lounge fly bags and in 
the grand scheme of things, I've technically saved money because that would have cost me $80. So $80 on a bag versus $35 on a t-shirt, I technically save money and that's why I'm going to keep telling myself to justify buying this t-shirt. But I do love it and it was something that I wasn't expecting because I don't tend to wear Marvel clothes myself. But I could wear this in Disney, I can wear it in Universal and I'll probably wear it to work all the time. Ben got a Monsters t-shirt from the Monsters store at the exit to the horror makeup show. This was $30. Um, I don't know if you know Ben personally, but he has more t-shirts than Top Man. He wasn't going to get it, but it was a really nice design, so I talked him into it. Because everyone loves the Universal Monsters and everyone needs a monster t-shirt in their life. So yeah, he got that and that was um, his only clothes purchase from Universal. The final Universal clothes purchase that we bought was I bought the Universal Spirit jersey which was $55 and I ended up buying it in the shop in Aventura in our hotel. I looked at it in probably four or five different shops and couldn't decide whether to go for the navy with the rose gold or the coral with the silver print. I kept going back and forth, I couldn't decide, I asked Ben, I was asking myself, I took pictures and I just could not make my mind up but couldn't justify buying both. So I kept thinking about it and when I went back to the hotel shop I was speaking to the lady in there, I wish I remembered her name because she was lovely and um, she told me to go for the navy because it matched my colouring better so I bought that, again got an extra large um, because I do like spirit jerseys to be that little bit baggier. When we got to the airport we saw the magic of Disney was still open and seeing as I hadn't made it to Disney World or a Disney store yet I couldn't resist not buying anything as I had a Disney gift card burning a hole in my pocket. So I did buy a Walt Disney World Spirit jersey. I bought the pink tie-dye one with the rose gold writing on which was the one I wanted before we'd even left. I'd seen it on Shop Disney and I was like that's the one I want to pick up this trip. It was $69.99 and when I tried it on um, my other spirit jerseys are all extra large but it just seemed huge so I did get a large which is perfectly fine so I seem to have gone down the size in the standard spirit jerseys and whilst we were in the Disney store Ben did pick up a Walt Disney World Mickey Mouse t-shirt which was $24.99 it is a children's extra large but it did seem bigger than some of the small tops we'd seen so um, we took a chance on it, we got home, we tried it on, absolutely fine so that was a bargain as it was a children's top but you can't tell and it is a lovely t-shirt the final things I've got left to tell you about is our two big purchases on this trip. So the first one were the Frankenstein monster canvases which were $28 each. They were Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein and they're glow in the dark canvases to go in our living room. I keep wanting to change the colour scheme in here to purple so it made sense. They fit the design and they are in the classic old fashioned horror poster designs. They glow in the dark too and I know my mum will be watching this and she'll say they're horrible but we really like them. We love our classic movies and it just brings um, just something else into our home really, another universal touch. Our house does have a lot of Disney elements but it is nice to try and bring in some of the other things that we love and horror movies is definitely one of them. So that was Ben's big purchase this trip. My big purchase this trip was the Fleur de la Couleur I can never say her name. The Fleur Delacour wand from Ollivander's at Hogsmeade, which was $55. I really wanted a wand last time, but it was so busy and the queue to get into Ollivander's was so long. And I figured if you're not going to Ollivander's to buy a wand, then you don't go buy a wand. It's that simple. Uh, I picked this wand because it was my favourite design, not necessarily on the character. If it was on the character, I probably would have bought Luna Lovegood, but this was my favourite design wand. Unfortunately, due to the parks closing and us only being there for a couple of days, I didn't get a chance to cast any spells and become a real wizard. But I'm not a muggle, I can cast spells and I will be doing that on our next trip. I think I'm going to allow some extra time for us to do some magic. Um, as I said, we were only in the parks for three days due to the closures, so we had to prioritise other things. But I've got my wand and I've got my maps and I will be on it next time. So yeah, that's everything that we purchased this trip. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions about any of the purchases that we made, please don't hesitate to comment below 
and I'll answer everything as soon as I can. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye!